Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodine Dorsey, and we are on the first ever Soul Cruise. And who do we have one of the shows headlining here on the Soul Cruise? Mr. Kenny Lattimore. Thank you. Thank it's, you. It's not Soul if you ain't here, Kenny. I'm sorry. I got <laughs> to say it. That. I got to <laughs> say it. Because you performed on this ship and the crowd just went crazy. Oh, I appreciate Packed it. show both dates. How did that make you feel? Oh, it makes me feel loved. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> it's uh, it's really wonderful. And I love the intimacy of the, the theater and everything. Um, mm. I, I like venues like that because it allows me to talk back to the audience. I can hear the audience back. And right. it's great. It's great when you can feed off the energy of the crowd. Right. right. So we went to Cuba. Yes. We And we're still traveling. Yeah. How was this your how was this experience for you going to Cuba and seeing mm. It's been beautiful, the the the, uh, the people. We've been out like in the streets with everybody, going to local places. And, and uh, today we saw a choral concert that took me all the way back to high school <laughs> and, and college, actually. I mean, but they were on a, a completely different level. They were clearly a professional choir. But I grew up singing classical music and singing in, in choir and chorus and things like that. Uh, so it was great to see... Um, the, the beauty of the, the Cubans who were appreciative of American culture and African American culture right. because they were singing like Negro spirituals and, and, and gospel what? and then they were singing things from uh, the Beatles and then they were singing Cuban. It was, it was just was amazing. This happening at the choral, at the theater that you Absolutely. guys. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. So it was, it's, it's interesting because uh, it made me feel significant. Like, you know, all of the journey and all of the history that we have as African Americans is really a global thing and it's touched, you know, what we've done musically in particular has really touched the world in, in such a way that it could never be denied. Do you, when it comes to your music, do you feel as though you've touched that world? Do you feel like you've made an imprint in the music in the music world? Well, I definitely do, even if it's just the, the two people that came to me today <laughs> to say, you know what, <laughs> right, right, right. Our, your song, one lady was saying, I, I play your song every day. Wow. And it reminded her of, of, I guess, how to love her husband or what have you. I, I was like, okay, that's enough for me. Thank you. But um, I think there's so much more. There's so yeah. much more globally that I have to do. And I think that uh, I'm preparing for that. Mm. I don't think I was ready for the fullness of what God has for me. I think that um, it's all been a journey of preparation. Okay, so 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 take me back. Take me back, okay. Kenny. Okay, because now, now you have my brain thinking here. <laughs> so take me back. First day, you're on Howard University, mm -hmm. and and you're on campus. Mm -hmm. What's that Kenny Lattimore Ooh, thinking? Like, take me there. Take that me there. Kenny What's Lattimore it? is trying to figure his life out because he's on campus for architecture and planning when he absolutely loves Shut music. Up. I thought, so all this time I thought you were a theater or music major at no, Howard University. No, I was an architecture and planning major. My parents didn't want me to ma major in music. So even though I got the Maryland Distinguished Scholar and I got all this stuff, and, and Howard is completely prestigious for exactly. music, um, they felt like I needed a fallback career just in case music didn't work out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I appreciate them for that because I understand the sentiment behind it, uh, the intelligence behind it, the cautiousness when you love a child and you love someone. Right. But... Um, it made me one that I, well, I was I was studious and I went out and I just did my best and I, I actually excelled in architecture and planning. I did very well, mm -hmm. but um, I think in my heart I still had that music thing that I would walk by the fine arts building and I'd kind of just look. It's like you're peeking <laughs> right. in the window, you know. <laughs> but yeah. I wasn't a part of it. And uh, Denise Williams came to the fine arts uh, department mm -hmm. during the year, um, during my first year, and she gave this complete. Uh, seminar and brought in people that were commercial artists, writers, producers, and all that mm -hmm. to show us that you could be more than just a singer. You didn't have to be the star out front uh, in order to make it in the music industry. But that was life changing for me because it taught me the, a lot of the business before I really dove into it. Nice. So, what does that, what does the Kenny now tell that Kenny? That um, to keep his love for music no matter what happens no matter what turn you go on um, you've got to remember why you loved this in the first place right. the feeling that it gave you what you gave uh, to others um, through it because boy you're about to go on a journey you're about to go through some dips and dives that are going right. to make you question why you ever 
uh, entered into this arena. And I felt like we all been part of your life going through those ups and downs yeah. too. So I mean yeah. that by itself. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. absolutely. And that that's a part of it too. It's a part that we're not trained um, in this day and age for media, mm -hmm. for social media, for um, letting uh, an artist know what they're about to encounter in terms of the invasion of their lives and the celebrity, what celebrity really means and how you, you won't even be seen as a real person at a certain wow. level of, of wow. success in the music industry um, or actor or what have you. Whenever you're celebrated, people can't quite wrap it, wrap their minds around the fact that you're a human being. That you're actually human. That, that you're actually you, human. you actually have feelings. Because and... everything is larger than life. So uh, it, yeah. all of those kind of things you, you have to prepare uh, young artists for. I know we have to make this quick, but I've got to ask. Um, there's a couple more questions I've got to ask you. I have a couple more questions. You have a new album coming out in 2017. Yes. 2017. We'll, Tell we'll me get about together. this. We can't we wait. We just started. Um, I've been, you know, sometimes when you're working on an album, you have to have a working title and just uh, you know, conceptually, I just want to stay on your mind. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm doing an, a song that is, is called Stay on Your Mind. But, um, it will, I think, contain, and I'm saying I think because we haven't completed it, it'll contain some live elements, and it will uh, be mostly studio, but it will contain some live elements. When can we expect it? Um, I'm hoping by the summer, but I'm, I'm working at basically. I know my manager's probably like, why are you telling them <laughs> right, that? Stop right. telling them summer that. Summer 2017, Don't we tell think, them that. That's Wait, what, somewhat. But I, I'm, on a, I'm on a mission. I'm, I'm really trying to knock it out by then. But, um, you know, sometimes when that happens, it's like a, a, a contractor when they say they're coming to fix your house and they're going to. <laughs> Let's not talk about that story. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you have all intention. Oh, it's going to be right. done in three months and it takes six or nine or right. whatever. Right. But uh, but we are definitely uh, seriously on a mission and focus to get new music into the marketplace That's because of getting the reaction that we just got here. You know, it's, it's like, wow, I, I want to continue to be in front of uh, the people that love my music and that I touch. Absolutely. So outside of music, I've read about this foundation yes. that you head up. Yes. I, I've, I, I can't not let you leave the <laughs> ship without knowing about All this right. foundation. The Kenny Lattimore Foundation uh, is uh, a public nonprofit charity mm -hmm. that uses arts, education, and um, mentoring to positively affect the lives of kids. So uh, if you go to KennyLattimore.com, there is a link to it, or you can go to... Uh, Kenny, the Kenny Lattimore Foundation dot org okay. and uh, read more information about it. But we're just starting. We're a baby nonprofit, what? but we're going to have a camp and um, we're launching this summer um, in in Los Angeles. We're starting the prototype and it's, it's helping us to develop the whole curriculum for it. But um, we're trying to find the underserved that are like me, those vocalists that were coming up mm -hmm. that want to be a part of the industry and give them real experiences with professionals um, give them a chance to record in the studio. I was recording at 14. Give a 14 year old uh, an right. opportunity to go in the studio and see what that's like so that's not so foreign. Um, the, the prototype camp, if you will, is going to be in Los Angeles um, sometime this summer, though. So we're just in the planning stages of getting that done. So hopefully all the planning will be done in March. Fantastic. So if people want to get involved, if they want to, if they want to volunteer, they can go to the Kenny Lattimore Foundation. Foundation.org. Yes. So that's excellent. Well, Kenny, I, I've got to say that people are loving you on the ship. I mean, we, <laughs> I get to hear it because I'm talking to the folks and they it. are like, Kenny, say my song, girl. Like, it's <laughs> All that happening right now on the Soul Cruise. <laughs> so thank you for giving us your your heart and your talent. Thank, thank you, you for always me. delivering I and giving us you. and feeding our soul. So we appreciate you. Hey, thank you. So how do we keep in contact with you, Kenny? Hey, KennyLattimore.com. Okay. Everything encompassing, including my contact information, is in that website. Nice. Um, so all the social media. I you know if you follow at uh, Instagram and if you like at Facebook and follow at Facebook now because I do live Facebook, I do live Instagram, live Twitter. Um, follow those nice. and you'll know everything that's happening. You know how social <laughs> media is. You'll know all the stuff. Right. In Up real under, time. Yeah, in real time. <laughs> in exactly. real time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's KennyLattimore.com. Also check out your foundation and yes. summer of 2017. We, you know, we will uh, get on music. management for that one. <laughs> <laughs> new music from Kenny Latimer. Thank you, Kenny, <laughs> Thank for you. joining us here on the Soul Cruise. This is Jodine Dorsey, and you're watching Capital Jazz TV.